Manhandled by the police, these protesters in Baku are bundled away before they can talk to journalists. Their crime? To have shouted freedom in their demonstration against human rights abuses. Toleration of dissent in Azerbaijan is thin on the ground, according to campaigners. There is a possibility that those people could end up spending between 5 and 15 days in administrative detention, and if they're considered to be one of the organizers, they may be imprisoned for several years. Human rights organizations say that freedom of expression is routinely suppressed in Azerbaijan. They say dissidents are quickly silenced and that President Aliyev has ruled with an iron fist since taking over from his father in 2003. Press freedom is not a luxury enjoyed by local journalists. They're victims of frequent intimidation. What opposition there is is tolerated, but there are thousands of anti-regime figures either in jail or in exile. Yes, you do. There are people who are in jail because they were allegedly in a fight. So all these charges exist in the criminal code. But political prisoners have nothing to do with these charges. It's just an excuse to arrest them. At the headquarters of the Equality Party, a dozen activists are on hunger strike. With the media in town to cover the Eurovision Song Contest, they hope to draw attention to their plight. The government, meanwhile, has slammed what it calls a shameful campaign orchestrated by NGOs and foreign media. There is an opposition here and they talk about things. This doesn't present a problem. They give their speeches, but when they break the law, we use an element of force. The opposition hopes to use the publicity surrounding Eurovision, a contest watched by a staggering 100 million people, to bring about change. The European Parliament has called on Baku to respect human rights, but fear among activists on the ground is that once the lights go down this weekend, Europe and the rest of the world will turn their attention elsewhere.